Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewer watchers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I have a lot of different videos already. I know you have been looking at them during this pandemic. I started this during the pandemic that to show people how easy it is to cook with their kids, cook by yourself, cook with your spouse, during a pandemic, easy way while you have kids. Plus it helps keeps the kids off their phone, off their gadgets and everything. Get them involved, they love to cook with you. Give them that chance to come in the kitchen with you. Today, my kids wanted some hash brown over the weekend. They try to make it themselves. So I told them today I'll fix some for lunch. Today I'll be using four arch potatoes. I'll be using the grater. After I peel them, I'll be shredding them on here. One teaspoon of seasoned salt, one fourth cup of olive oil. And today I just want to just show you to see how everything is patient and time. The way we do it in Mr. Bell Kitchen, we show a lot of love. We do it the right way. I'm going to be peeling these potatoes right here, just like this. I'm just going to peel them like, like that. And I'm going to peel all of them first and just peel all the skin off them. And then I'll be sitting it in the pan of water till I get all of them peeled. Then I'll be shredding them and I'll be putting them together. Like I say, this is my first time with this dish, but my kids tried to do some over the weekend, and they was pretty good. But I said, I have some for you Monday at your lunchtime. So we doing it. I wish they was in here with me right now, but they in school. So I just do this while they in the living room in school. I have these ready for them. If they get out of school, they could come in and help me. But in the meantime, I peeled it, it's looking nice and good. I'm gonna sit it in this water right here and I'm gonna peel the rest of them. As you see, I finished peeling the potatoes. Now I'm fixing to wash them off and, and I'm gonna start shredding them. Okay, now I'm gonna start making the hash browns. What, I, what you do is just take the potato and you grate it down. I'm gonna just grate this all the way down like that. As you see, how nice and pretty, and then you just get them and put them together. Okay, my daughter, she's on a little break, and since she came up with the idea to make hash browns, Janella, she's gonna be grading the potatoes for me, and just grading them down, making a, Janella, can I see your face? Just smile, yes, there you go. Just grade them, yes, yeah, she came with the idea, so I'm letting her work, she's on her little break out of, out of school, so she's coming in the kitchen, she's gonna help. Yeah, now I'm grading it down, and my daughter, she gonna take them and put them in the pan, so it don't be, put them in here. My daughter still, she camera shy, but, when it's, when it's time to eat these hash browns, she's not gonna be camera shy. And you just get them and I'm just grading them like that. Yeah, my daughter, she's grading them. Everybody's just out of break. Like I say, we in the kitchen, we cook together. They come up with ideas. We all cook involved and cook it together. Instead of being on their phone or their gadget, they in the kitchen cooking. And we're gonna do these hash browns together. Okay, I took me a little potatoes out the pan, as you see. And I'ma just pour a little oil on it. And I'm just get them all together with this all. Mix it up in there. Get them nice and good, as you see. Like that. And I'm gonna just put a little, little seasoning sauce on them. And so they have just a little seasoning. You can put any kind of season you want on it, but I'm just putting a little seasoning salt on mine. And I'm just gonna mix it up like that. And I'm just going, it's almost like doing a patty. And I'm gonna put all of them together like this. Like I say, this is my first time. So I'm gonna put it in like that. And what I'm gonna do, after I put it in like that, I'm gonna hold it in my hand. I have a T4 skillet, and I'm gonna just put them in like that. It's gonna be the first one. 
So I'm trying out this first one and see how it works. I'm gonna scoot all that together like that. And I'm gonna just let it cook. As I say, these are gonna be hash browns and I'm gonna let it cook like that. And I'm gonna just scoot it together. And as you know, I like to take it step by step. So this is gonna be my first time flip it over. We're gonna flip it over together. And that way you get an idea how it go. And I flip it over, everything is together. And look like it's coming out pretty good. And like I say, it's nothing like going by step by step when you're cooking so you get an idea how to do it. Also, you can use the hash brown for anything. You can put whatever you want in the, in the hash brown. You can put a little cheese, you can put a little meat in it, or uh, however you want to do it. But right now, we're just going to have hash browns and we're going to enjoy these hash browns. So I'm going to let that cook for a little while longer, maybe for about three minutes. As you see, it's coming out good. Look like pancake. Yeah, I flipped it. This is my second time flipping it for a couple minutes. So the next flip, it'll be ready to eat. Okay, this one, like I said, I put it in for a couple minutes. This one looked pretty good, ready to take out. You see, I took it out. It's looking good and everything. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm done with it. Okay, as you see, I made four more. And I'm just gonna sit it in here. You, actually, you can sit about four or five in here. I'm gonna sit four at a time, and I'm gonna put it in just like that. I'm gonna scoop this one up. And like I say, instead of this, it's not the time to be throwing away food. You know, you might just spin a have some potatoes. You tell your kids, and the kids say, oh, I just had some boiled potatoes. I don't want no boiled potatoes no more. Uh, I don't want no mashed potatoes. And say, oh, I'm doing something different with these potatoes so they weren't ruined. I'm going to make some hash browns. And they're going to say, oh, yes, yes, we love hash browns. And this is how you make your hash browns. So that way you don't be wasting no food. Enjoy everything in your household before it ruins. Just think of different ideas of how to do it. Like I say, these hash browns, it don't take much time. And the kids love getting involved in it, too. It's just doing it together. And this is how I love to do it, cooking with the kids and everything. Cooking different things, making them enjoy things. So when they get older, they know how to do it. And I'm gonna let them four cook just like that, the way they're cooking. And I'm gonna let them cook for three minutes. Yeah, smash, smash them. Smash the back one. Yeah, my daughter, she's shy, but she's smashing them and everything. Now she's gonna flip it. She's flipping it over. Yeah, just like that. And she's in here. Get the idea of uh, having your kids in the kitchen cooking. Yeah, and they love to do it, but they still camera shy. So that's good too. Yeah, see how easy that's flipping over? And mash them down, they be done in a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm mashing them down just a little. As my daughter already had flipped them over one time, just mash them. As you see, I'm gonna flip it. Mm -hmm. Flipping good, flipping good. Just mash it, like I say. Let's get it, it don't leave no oil in it, so. Cause it's a non-stick. Okay. okay, I'm gonna flip them over. Oh yeah, these are nice hash browns right here. Flip them over, just like that. Okay, and here's what the hash browns look like for the first time we did it. Now I need a taster. My son is gonna come over here and he's gonna be the taster. He's a good taster. See what these hash browns taste like. So, my son, he's gonna wash his hands and he's gonna come over here and taste them. And he's gonna get one of these hash browns and taste it and see what it tastes like. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a hash brown and I'm gonna taste it. So 
So what it tastes like, son? How they taste? Tastes really good, and you can taste all the seasoning in the in the hash brown. You guys should try it out. And also, so if you have any leftover potatoes, if you think what you're gonna do with them, just make some hash browns. Make some different things with them, and that way, no food go to waste. And that's cooking with the bells. We did it again. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, leave a comment in the box. Like I say, we'll be doing a lot of videos during this pandemic. This is cooking with the family and everything.